Hey guys, it's Shy Sweet, and this is going to be somewhat of a beginner's guide to the area Kama Zone in Guardian Tales. So if you recently started playing Guardian Tales, when you go to the adventure screen to progress through the campaign in the game, you might have noticed that on the right side of the screen there is a button here called Kama Zone. And you might not be able to access it yet because it doesn't open up until you have finished uh, World 9 on normal difficulty in the campaign. So, and this is an area that I personally overlooked for quite some time after it was released uh, because I was busy with doing other stuff in the, in the game and I didn't realize that you do not need energy from the rest of the game to play in Camazon. It has its own energy or uh, key card system. But try to get to Camazon as soon as possible because it is going to help you progress through the game. It's going to help you... Uh, leveling up, not leveling up, but getting your heroes to be stronger because you get to buy good stuff from the shop from uh, with the rewards you get from Camazon. So what is Camazon? It is uh, pretty much a tower, I guess. Uh, you progress through floors and the higher floor you reach, the harder it gets and the more bottle caps you get as a reward. And each floor consists of a few stages and you need to choose your path through each floor to get to the boss up here and there is five different types of squares that you can do these hearts will heal all your wounded characters these question marks are I don't know how to explain it it's kind of like a, a little story that is being told in there and you get options to choose and depending on what options you choose different things will happen. You can get in a battle, you can get an artifact, you can lose artifacts, you can get cursed art artifacts and, and so on. There's lots of things that can happen depending what, on what you choose. These ones with one sword is a normal battle. These ones with two swords is a harder battle that will reward you with an artifact after you finish it. And this shopping cart is where you can spend silver. You get silver for each battle you do and you can use them in the shop to buy better artifacts. And talking about artifacts, during when you when you climb through the tower, you will receive good artifacts or less good artifacts. And what you need to do is that every every artifact has certain skills and they will make you stronger in certain ways. So what you need to do is to try to get the best artifacts that fits your team because the artifact is having a really big impact in how strong you will be in the battles. For example, this artifact gives my melee attack 100% extra attack. So I make 100% extra damage when I have this artifact and I have two of them. So I pretty much do 200 more, 200% 200 more damage with my melee attackers, which is pretty significant in this game and it will help me progress through the stages a lot faster and a lot easier. And you have your team of four people, and let's go through here and check what this is. Uh, let's take that box. And now I got a cursed artifact, so I need to discard one of my other ones. Let's do that. And here, if I have wounded heroes, they will heal. I didn't have any. And let's do a battle as well. And we have my team of four heroes, and if one of them dies, you will not be able to use that hero un unless you will find a question mark that actually re revives a hero. But then you need to switch them out, and you can, if you have all of your heroes up to level 69 or over, then you can use them to do progress faster and even more progress longer into the game. And as you can see, the battle is pretty much like a Colosseum battle. And there, it's over. And my rewards for this was 10 silver coins and 83 bottle caps. So 
the important thing with Camazon is the bottle caps. You will get bottle caps for each square you finish and the boss one will give you a higher number of bottle caps and you want to finish as get to as many bottle caps as possible because you can spend them in the shop here at the very bottom if you look behind me it says bottle caps and what you can use them for is buying your awakening stones you can buy each week you can buy a bunch of uh, awakening stones, you can buy some hero crystals, but awakening stones is one of the hardest things to come by in this game that you will pretty much never have enough of when you try to de develop your heroes and make them stronger, especially the legendary awakening stones. Being able to th buy three of these each week is a huge advantage for you if you can do that because Finding legendary awakening stones is hard, especially once you start limit breaking your heroes because they take so many of them. I am struggling really bad with this right now. I need probably like 40 legendary awakening stones and I have 10. And so I just I am just waiting for this to reset so I can buy another 3 so I can at least get another skill on my uh, awakening tree unlocked. And also you can buy high grades and medium grades and low grades, uh, low grade awakening stones of all kinds. And this is just going to help you immensely. And I really regret that I did not go into Camazon earlier because I could have bought so many more legendary awakening stones because it literally took me probably a few weeks for me to even try Camazon out after it came out. So don't do the same mistake as I do and miss out on Camazon. And lastly, once you are not able to progress anymore, once your hero is dead and you just can't finish a stage, you can click finish challenge and you will restart from the beginning if you are if you don't reach higher than stage 3, if you reach higher than stage 3, you can uh, you can get to start at a higher stage if you want and you will always get to choose some artifacts from the beginning. We can we can try that out actually. So if I click finish challenge, this is how many ball caps I collected in my run now. I am on floor 9 I think. And we click this and yes, I was on nine, floor 9 and now I can start from floor 6. So if we start this I can start choose to start from first floor or from sixth floor and since you get more reward from starting at a higher floor then I will always choose this and right away here I get to choose a few artifacts and I'm always looking for the high grade artifacts because they will be giving you the most benefits and here, for example, I do not have a high grade, I just have low grade, and now it's good to know that there is a high grade that pairs with Lonely Left Ear, it's called Lonely Right Ear, and they will have a, an effect together if you have both of them. So this one is kind of good, even if it doesn't help much on its own. So th these are things you need to, to learn through the, th through the game as well, to which artifacts you need to, to focus on. So that was pretty much it about Camazon. As I said, don't miss out on Camazon because the ability to collect bottle caps and use them to buy awakening stones is really important in this game considering you will never have enough awakening stones unless you are a whale and spending lots of money on the game. Then I'm guessing awakening stones won't be a problem, but for us that do not spend any real money on the game this is one of the opportunity, op opportunities you have to actually collect more awakening stones that you need in the game to make your heroes as strong as they need to be to be able to progress through some of the harder contents so that was it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was helpful and if it was please give me a like and give me a comment below what you think about camazone and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Shai Sweet and see you at the next video.